one. All right, he needs to be. Whoa. What is the purpose of that? All of this is waste of time. Oh, this. Okay, I'm pausing. Even if he gets this kill, it's not worth it. Now, why did I say it's not worth it? Even if he got that kill, because he did what I see a lot of bad Lucio's doing. In that, as soon as the gates open, he just ran out to just wander. He didn't really have a goal in mind. I guess his goal was to find someone to kill. But that's not your job as Lucius. Let someone else take the reins, man. Let someone else run in there Rambo style. Let a, a soldier or a McCree do that. Your job as Lucio is to support your team. You're a support. You have the only AoE healing in the game, really, besides soldier, and that's not really... <laughs> You have, you have the only AoE in here in the game. Take advantage. What he should have been doing is you actually saw um, far, like on the other side of the map while he was running around and finding the, the Hanzo, two, three people running together and two of them were in critical condition. He should have been with those three people healing them. He'd be, he's at 7% ult right now. At this point in the game, if he was with those three people over there healing them, he'd be at like 40, 50% right now. But now he's dead, and he's not going to be doing anything for a good, like, 15 seconds. Should Waste of time. Him. Waste of time. Stay with your team, especially in the beginning, because they take a lot of damage in the beginning of the match. You, every second counts, guys. Every second counts. And every mistake you make compounds upon itself. Every mistake, you making one mistake can lead to a play that the enemy makes that you could have prevented by not making that mistake earlier. So, uh, this is actually a really good spot. He wants to be behind Reinhardt. Reinhardt has 500 health. That means that there's a lot of health for him to heal, and that allows him to gain ult pretty fast. So, uh, now this is where he wants to be, kind of. He want, He's elevated, and he's healing three people. That's good. Uh, mm, now he's not. He needs, to, he needs to find a place to, to be elevated and stay within line of sight. There's plenty of areas to do that. Um, he just needs to balance that. When you weave out of line of sight back and forth, it takes one second for you to actually stop healing the person and drop them from your healing aura. So you can actually weave back and forth and never actually drop the person from, line, from your healing aura. Because of that grace period. And that was dumb. That was dumb. He dropped to the ground. He dropped to the ground. They're caught on that tree. They're no. caught on the tree. No. He just dropped to the ground. Really hard to kill him, yeah, he's so he's super hard to kill when he's elevated. He he moves erratically. And it's just it's just harder. It's just harder to kill someone who's not on the ground. And he's not gonna die because he's up there. No way. No way. Where is he where his where's his team is probably the question you want to be asking. Uh, mm. He's he's healing like one to two people. He wants to be healing more than that. He needs to get in a better position. Yeah, he needs to be in a better position. He, need, he needs to heal more people, heal more damage. He's wasting time. He is wasting time. Um, he could have his ult right now. He could have ulted like 20 seconds ago. Yeah, if he was playing correctly, he could have ulted like you know, a minute ago, and, and be like 50% of his ult built, but now he just got his ult. We're, he needs to figure out what his team is and, and support them. Because they're take wherever they are, they're probably taking damage. He needs to be there. He needs to be there for his team. Oh, this is, again. Oh my god, I can't believe I got Lucky. Very lucky, but too risky. It's it's not worth the risk. Even if he kills them, it's not worth the risk. Do something else. And wiped out uh, Hanzo with three really nice headshots. Do something else. And then got the fuck out of the Just hanging out with Soldier 76. It's not worth it. <laughs> Killing Hanzo is not worth it. Not worth, not worth the time it takes. Oh, yeah, like Even if you can do it. And it's, it's too risky. He might kill you. It's just as likely he kills you as you kill him. You can kill him, but it's just as likely he'll kill you. All it takes is one good traffic now. And you need, it, you need more than one for you to kill him. In the heels, in the heels, and his team actually took the point while he was goofing off with Hanzo. He's going ham. 
That was a good ult. Hanzo's up top on the stage there. That was a good ult. It gave them some momentum. It gave them some momentum. It, it, got, it allowed his team to get damage in. It allows his team not to die, to be high health. Um, that was a good ult. Not every ult has to be game chasing. So he didn't like push for the win or something with that ult. But not every ult oh, has to be game chasing. It just gave them more momentum than they otherwise would have got without him ulting. That's, that's the point. Zarya behind us. And sometimes that momentum is going to lead to like a win right there, and sometimes it's going to lead to just a little bit more momentum than you otherwise would have gained. But do it. It's 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 one of the most effective things you can do with your time is to ult. Now there's a there's a trap on the ground. I thought I saw a trap on the ground. Hope he doesn't fall into that. There. This is a, actually this is actually a really great spot he's at right now. He needs to stay up there. He is, see, he is already... Please don't kill me. He needs to just stay no. up there. I'm scared. Yeah. He needs to just stay up there. Um, he didn't even need to drop down. I don't know why he even oh, went to drop down. Please don't kill. Please don't kill. Yes. He almost has ult. Yeah. He only, he only altered one person there. He wasn't paying it. He wasn't paying attention to where his his team was, so he didn't ult more than one person. Uh, you always want to be your support. You always want to know where your team is. You always want to know the status of your team. But uh, he's playing decently right now. He hasn't died, but he's playing. Uh, it's very unnecessary how much work he he's doing. Like he he just he's on the ground. That's that's what's happening. He needs to be punished for being on the ground. Yo, oh, get them. Where's their teleporter? Is it somewhere? I don't get it. Now he's gonna go hunt down the teleporter. I don't know. I haven't found it. Hmm. There you go. Notice how 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 his team is dying while he's doing this. Did we wipe them? Well, I killed their symmetry. Others in the place. Right. He wasted so much time there. And his team's his team's paying for it. His team's paying for how much time he's wasting. Look at that! Issue. Look how hard it is for that junk rat to hit him. Oh, the junk rat's like, what do I do? <laughs> okay, uh, why why did he thing. even jump from down there? Why why not just stay up there? He 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 feels he needs to be like moving up, like erratically all the time. Just, just bob and weave like that, but stay up there. Was he on the ground when he died? Yes, he was. <laughs> yes, he was. Notice, he never died at elevation. When he was elevated, he never died. He never even really came close to dying. While he was, at, while he was higher than the normal plane of, of, um, of combat. He, did, he never even really came close. But as soon as he got on the ground, he died almost instantly. Stay off the ground, guys. That's the theme. That's the theme of my um, of my uh, stream. For support players, you need to stay off the ground, especially for Lucio and Mercy as well. Mercy as well, but especially Lucio. It's easier for Lucio, so he has no excuse not to do it. He can he can do his job from anywhere basically as long as you can see his team. Mercy is a little bit more limited in that she actually has to be kind of near her her. Her heal range is pretty far, but she still has to be pretty near you. Pretty near the person she wants to support. Which gives her limited options. Sometimes she can't be elevated. I mean, Lucy can be elevated all the time. All the time. Alright. He lost. He deserved to lose. This game, he deserved to lose so hard. Again, I, I like to check how many times he died. Like, I got gold medal with eight kills. Yeah, they literally don't have... Do they have a teleport? I'm pretty I don't sure nobody on our team killed them. They just had a shitload of, like... <laughs> he didn't get a card. He usually gets a healing I, card. He didn't I'm get so one this time. Mm. Yeah, 
as long as you got a surface underneath you, Ganymede, you can you can halt. But usually, uh, there you go. Six deaths. Six deaths that didn't need to happen. I'll jump down for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I, I noticed that way. <laughs> a lot of time he. Uh, no matter where he is, he always wants to jump down the ground level near the fight to ult. Yeah. And uh, you just don't need to do that. Because <laughs> uh, your ult hits everyone within heal range, which means it hits everyone pretty much in line of sight. So you don't even you don't need to be anywhere near your the team to affect them with the ult, but he feels like he needs to jump into combat every time the ult. Uh, I mean, what happens is you get a shield, and you can you it allows you to go a little bit more ham. Uh, but it also puts you at risk as well. <laughs> 